street lights coming in, if you've got any of that stuff and it's shining on you or it's making the room bright, you are in deep trouble because your body still thinks it's daytime. <laughs> Do you know one thing that can completely transform your health and fitness? Increase your fat burning, improve your muscle, help with your better recovery, and get you feeling better and more energy during the day, reduce food cravings? Well, you know what that is? That is sleep. And that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about today. Sleep is becoming more and more popular and there's more research coming out on how important it is. As you guys can see behind me, it's pretty dark right now but it's actually daytime. I'm just using some simple tips to keep my room nice and dark. So when I come home, it's absolutely pitch black. I wanna show you guys a really quick trick. Boom, look how dark this is. Just cause my laptop's on. If I shut my laptop, pitch black. So what I wanna share with you guys is some simple tips you can use to actually help increase your sleep, the amount you get, and the quality of sleep. Because some people, they like they could be like me, they sleep eight hours, but they just don't feel fully refreshed. And it wasn't until I started blacking out my room fully that I started noticing some subtle differences. So I wanna share with you guys that one really quickly. Number one is you want to make sure you're blocking out all of the light, every single light. This laptop light, block it out. The PowerPoints you've got plugged in, turn them off. Whatever you have in your house, in your room, that's lighting lighting up at night, you need to turn it off. I've actually got, if you guys, you can't see it now, it's a little in the corner, it's a flashlight that goes off, and it's a, um, it was a, a smoke smoke signal, a smoke uh, a fire alarm, and I actually had to undo it because I had to put some tape over the top of it because the red light kept flashing at night. And I know you guys can't see it now, but there's a window right there, and I've actually fully blacked it out because the light underneath the door, if you guys can see that, was actually coming in. So what I had to do is make sure that I blocked out the window so the light didn't come in, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is eliminate as much light as possible. If you've got street lights coming in, if you've got any of that stuff and it's shining on you or it's making the room bright, you are in deep trouble because your body still thinks it's daytime. I am not kidding right now. They have done studies where they actually got a laser light, shine it on the back of somebody's kneecap when they were sleeping and the body could tell that that light was shining on it and was sending signals to the, bra to the brain saying that it's still daytime. That's how powerful light can be. So number one is you need to eliminate all the light that's in your room. Unplug everything, you know, even the digital clock, no, don't have it there. Use whatever you can to get the room as dark as possible. I've cardboarded out my, um, my windows, so you guys can't actually see it at the moment because it's so dark, but I've actually put cardboard all over my windows. When I open my window, I can still get fresh air and you can see the light coming in now, but when I shut that window, all I'm gonna do is shut this right now, if I can, and it's going to completely black out the room because what I've done right now is completely, oh, still the screen, but just like that, it gets really, really dark really quickly. So it's kind of like it's nighttime all the time. So if you need to have a nap during the day, you also want to do this too. It's really, really good for you. So the first thing you want to do is completely, completely black out your room as soon as possible. Do it tonight. Go home, tape up the windows, do whatever you can. Get the room as dark as possible. You can buy yourself some blackout curtains. You can do things like that that are going to help, that are going to make it easier. But what you want to do is you want to eliminate all light in your room as much as possible. This is one investment that'll probably take you about an hour if you do it properly, but that hour is going to save you so much time. And one hour of putting this investment in, in putting in systems in place is going to completely change the way you sleep. So if you're having trouble sleep or you want better quality sleep, being in a pitch black room is key number one. I'm telling you guys, it's so important. I used to put it off and say, yeah, my room's pretty dark, but if you can see your hand in front of your face, right, if you can wave it in front, you can kind of see some shadow, it's not dark enough. You need to be able to go like this, and it's like you can't even, like you cannot see your hand. That's how close it needs to be, and you cannot see it. That's how dark your room needs to be. And a lot of people, you're gonna realize, once you turn off the light, once your eyes start adjusting, you're gonna see little bits of light coming in. So what I also suggest you do is you actually do that at night time. After you've put everything up, turn off all the lights, shut the curtains, and see, is there a little bit of light coming in? Is there something, you know, like, so let's say if I shut this right now, there's still that little bit of light. I'm like, where's that coming from? And then you can see, right? So you gotta wait for your eyes to adjust. So don't just turn off the light and go, oh, it's black. Let your eyes adjust for about 10 minutes, because that's how long it's gonna take, and then you can go, okay, cool. All right, so I'm obviously gonna need to put a little bit more uh, tape over here, or black out this, or turn off this PowerPoint. That is number one. Key number two, I'm only gonna keep two. 
Number two is to get some blue light blockers. Give me two seconds to show you guys exactly what I mean. See how it gets darker over here? You have probably seen these crazy glasses before. There is a reason I wear them, and it's because they will stop the light from shining on your eyes at night time. Now, you can buy these ones, which are a bit more stylish, a little bit more expensive, but you can go out and not look like a creeper. You're still wearing red glasses and you're gonna look like Bono, but it's not gonna be as bad as if you wear these other glasses that I have that I'm gonna show you guys. They do make you look like a creeper. Look at this. These cost $10. They're still as good, but you look like a speed dealer, all right? So if you wanna go with these, go with them. Otherwise, do what I do, wear some blue light blocking glasses, you can go out with them, you can stay inside. This just helps with you preventing the blue light because your TV screens, your computer screens, your iPhone, your Kindle, all of those things are shining blue light on you at night. And this is the light that I'm talking about. If you are sitting in a living room or if you are on the phone at night time, it's signaling to your brain and to your body that you are still, it's still daytime. So when you put these glasses on, when you block out the blue light, it's gonna help you sleep, especially if you're someone who likes to watch TV shows at night. If you're watching Netflix all the time, you need to be blocking that blue light. Now, if you're watching Netflix on your phone or on your uh, or on your laptop, you can use an app called F. Lux for your laptop or your computer, and you can use it for your um, Android, or you can use the night shift mode on your iPhone, which I have set to 5 p.m. every single day. Because the more intertwined you can actually make this with the daytime, nighttime cycle, the better your body is going to get used to that, all right? So wearing blue blocking glasses, I wear these at work, I wear these everywhere, I don't care what people say, because at the end of the day, I am getting better sleep. And if you get better sleep, you reduce your food cravings. You know when you have a shitty sleep and you wake up and you're like, oh my God, I just want sugar or I want coffee or something, you know, and then you end up binging on food, that's because your brain wants energy. And the only way it wants energy is through food. So if you sleep better, the brain's going to have more energy and so is your body. So get that sleep in a place. If you want to increase your muscle mass, that is when the recovery process happens. It's not while you're working out at the gym, it's while you're resting and recovering. And when you're in that sleep time, that is what is going to give you the best type of recovery. If you want to increase your metabolism and fat burning, that also comes down to how much you're sleeping. All this stuff is going to add up. Sleep is going to be a huge important thing in the fact that I'm going to be sharing with you guys more tips, but I want to start you off with just two. I'm going to give you one more really quick tip. Go to bed before 10 p.m. You know why? The best type of recovery you get and when your brain restores memories, rests, recovers, replenishes, is between 10, 8, 10 p.m. and 2 p.m. They are your crucial times. So if you aren't going to bed before 10, make sure you start doing that, all right? You can always Netflix tomorrow. You can always sleep that little bit longer and improve your health and fitness, but you know what you can't do? If you keep putting it off longer and longer, you are gonna feel like shit. You aren't gonna lose that body fat. You're going, you could potentially lose lean muscle mass, and you're just not gonna feel fresh in the morning. You're gonna be that person who relies on coffee all the time, who always complains about being tired, but they don't fix their shit. So, two quick things you need to do. Number one, go and block out every single thing in your room so it is pitch black. Number two, get some blue blockers. Block out those blue screens. They're $20 for the other pair. These ones cost 70. If you wanna know where I got these ones, send me a message and I'll let you know. All right, guys, that is the video done and dusted. Don't forget to like and share and I'll speak to you tomorrow.